Hello, my friends. Today I'm bringing you an absolute dumpster fire set on the stage of a shit show. Surrounded by a cluster duck. I don't know what to say about this case. Um, Mom wants her kid back. Dad's refusing to let her see him. Mom has no running water, hasn't had running water in her trailer since Christmas, thinks that's okay. She's a stay-at-home mom. You know, she stays home and takes care of her kids. And um, I think there's mold on the ceiling. She's a good mom, though. But her infant just died. Like, I, I don't even know. You, you just watch it. Let's go to court. This is in the District Court of Butler County, Kansas, case entitled Bronson C. Rogers, petitioner, and Scarlett E. Rogers, a minor child, uh, by and through her next friend, Branson C. Rogers versus Taylor S. Kingsley, respondent, case number 2024-DM-162, Bronson Rogers appears by Zoom from the Judicial Center Zoom location. Taylor Kingsley appears on her own Zoom. Uh, both apparently are unrepresented by counsel at this point. This matter comes before the court at this time for further proceedings in regards to a petition for determination of paternity that was filed by Mr. Rogers back in May. Mr. Rogers, where are we on this? Um, well, I have presented a petition for paternity. The three motions that was required for me of like the parenting plan and the other things I submit, I have got submitted today. So you should be receiving them at some point. Um, okay, why did you why did you wait till today to file these things? Because I didn't realize that I was supposed to have the parenting plan and everything. and I wasn't able to get three copies of them made. Um, I called the court this morning and they said that they were able to make copies of it for me. That's the reason why it took me so long. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, I trust that you've talked to Taylor Kingsley about a parenting plan. No, I haven't talked to Taylor about anything at all. I just thought that I was supposed to fill out the things that what the motions that were on the paperwork. Okay. Yeah, I'm not totally sure what you mean by motions, but because um, I haven't seen them. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know if we've got any legitimate controversy here. Taylor Kingsley, let me address you. Yeah. Uh, from your answer, it would appear that you're not contesting that Bronson is the natural father of this child, correct? No, no sir. Okay. Um, okay, go ahead. I'm just, this whole situation's just been frustrating for me. Why has it been frustrating for you? Well, this happened why we have to end up with the custody plan because I lost my youngest daughter earlier this year. She passed away from SIDS. And I'm sorry to hear that. You have my sympathy. I have not gotten the best sympathy from from Bronson and from his side of things. And I've kind of gotten my daughter kept from me since my other daughter passed away. That's why we're even in this custody court. So I can actually try to be able to see my daughter again. Cause I haven't seen her since my one month old baby's funeral. And when was that? March 9th. Okay. And you're representing Since, this court that the cause of death on the death certificate is sudden well, infant death syndrome? That's what the detectives have been telling me. Um, we don't have an official cause of death yet. We don't even have the autopsy back yet as well. But uh, to, because the people have been going around saying that I've killed my baby, and I'm sorry, this is really emotional for me to talk about. I have went and gotten a polygraph just to further prove that I'm not a neglectful parent, and sometimes things just happen. Okay. I deal with caseworkers every week. Um, 
I don't know, it just, I went through a really tragic event. And as a result of that, I got my oldest daughter withheld from me since, since literally her funeral. That was the last day I saw her. Okay, and this child was born in June of 2019? Yes. The one that we're doing this case for, yes. Okay, right. That's what I'm talking about. So, um, that child is five. Yes. I just missed her birthday. Okay. Why haven't you just gone to pick her up, Taylor? I'm not allowed to. What do you mean you're not allowed to? Who who says you're not allowed to? I, we've gone okay, you're breaking up nothing but harassment. Okay, you're breaking up. You're... My parents. I uh, I I don't know what to to do about that. Okay, like I said, you, your audio was breaking up all through that. Can so you I, hear I didn't me hear better you. now? Okay, I'm sorry. Can you hear me better now? Yes. Okay. Okay. My so parents, just, just tell me simply, who's telling you you can't see your child? Bronson. Okay. And, and Bronson never, has superior rights over you because why? I don't know. Taylor, I've Taylor taken he this doesn't. To police. He, he doesn't have any superior rights over you unless there's some sort of protective order uh, I don't know if this child was put in any type of police protective custody. I, I don't know if some governmental agency has intervened in this, but presuming they haven't, you you both have equal rights to this child. I was already known of that. He just refused to let me have her. Okay. Because the house is unfit. It there's holes in the floor. They can't, my daughter can't use the restroom there. She can't even wash her hands. They don't have a working stove. Yes, we do. I have had to pay their bills before to make sure that they have had electricity on in their house for my daughter. We have electricity. We have food. And when you say we, Taylor, who are you referring to? My father. Okay. My house wasn't the best before, and he's not wrong. He has had to help with bills before out of the own kindness of his heart. I deal with caseworkers every week. They come into my house. They, they've been helping me get, get my stuff fixed, so that's not anything anybody would have to worry about. Hmm. It's just been excuse after excuse after excuse to not let me have my daughter, and that's why we're here in court today. All I want is just to see my five-year-old daughter that I haven't seen in almost six months. For absolutely no reason other than excuse this, excuse that. I've even offered to go stay at my mother's house to not even have any issues with this and still always got told no. There is a registered sex offender at that house. Okay, and who is that? Aaron Wilson. Is that correct? He's not, I mean, he is on the registered sex offender list, but it's based off of a lie, but I know that that don't really matter that much, that he's still on the offenders list, but if it seems to be any more of a problem for him just to keep Scarlett from me, I can find somewhere to go to be able to properly take care of her. All I want is my child. I don't care about anything else. I've tried to be civil to him. And I don't want to keep Scarlett from her. I just want to make sure that my daughter has a safe living space. Because one child has passed already in that house, and I have gotten no explanation other than SIDS. And SIDS is Bronx. just a blanket term. There's usually an underlying other cause. And I have been met with nothing but arguments and fighting. If I may speak to just him, we haven't gotten an autopsy. You might not understand Sid's Bronson, 
but nothing I did made her die. I have went and sat through an excruciating polygraph for this whole matter that I am not a neglectful parent like you seem to think I am. And we were together for a really long time. It was probably one of your longest relationships. You know me. You know I'm not a bad parent. All right. Um, back to business here. Uh, Taylor, earlier you mentioned that caseworkers are coming into your home. Yes. Why are they doing that at this stage? They've been doing it since my daughter passed away to help me keep on the right track and make sure that I'm doing what I need to be doing so that I don't essentially fall off the deep end with literally losing a one-month-old baby. Okay, when you say caseworkers, are these DCF workers or? DECA. DECA, okay. I see okay. them one, at least once a week, sometimes twice a week. They kind of come at random sometimes. Like, actually, before I got on this call, my caseworker actually called me and was asking about court and stuff and told me to call her afterwards. I've done everything I possibly can do to show that I am I am fit to take care of my daughter. I have food, I have electricity. I do not have running water at the particular moment and that is simply for the fact that we have to replace the main water line. And I've been trying to figure out how much that's going to be. But I, I do have like places to, that I can stay. I would also like to bring up the matter of that when I first started keeping Scarlet, I tried to take her to the doc. Well, actually, before I kept Scarlet, um, I tried to take her to the doctor three times, and her insurance had had Taylor for the past three months at that time telling me that she was on the phone with. The insurance people, the state insurance people, and every time I took her to the hospital to get her eczema checked out or to have a checkup done, they said that her insurance was left, that her insurance wasn't good. So I finally went and got her insured through state insurance. She has Sunflower that's now under my name. I had to get her a new physician because Taylor. If her medical records. Um, What else? I have her enrolled in Circle School District right now, currently. She's just been to the dentist. Her shot records have been updated and everything. Where, where do you thing. reside, Mr. Rogers? Here in El Dorado. Okay. And she's in Leon? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, Taylor, do you have access to uh, a vehicle transportation? I'm actually currently about to trade in my non-working car for a working car. I just got to get a, a hold license? of the title. Bronson, this okay, this is my point. Just, just a moment. Just a moment. We're, we're not going to argue is, or bicker here. But this is my point. No matter what I do to try to show that I am trying to work through stuff, he is trying to... To mess it up every way he can. I am trying. Right now, I don't have a working car, no. I am literally currently talking to someone. I just have to get my bill of sale and get the title, and I will have a working car. No, just for the record, I do not have a license, but I am getting a working car, so then I can just go take the test. It's just a matter of the fact I've I've never went through driver's ed when I was younger. I okay. I didn't have the ability to go out. Okay. And he's does saying your, that does your father who lives with you have access to a car? Yes, he does. And he would help you? 
Yes, I have more than plenty of help to transportate, get back and forth. It was me that was taking her back and forth before we had all these problems where he wouldn't let me see her. I tried to do everything to make things convenient for him, but then things got messed up for me because my daughter passed away and everyone believes that I did it to her. And I've been fighting that stigma ever since. I am not a neglectful parent. All right. Hey, I don't even get told about her being enrolled in school. I used to take her to her doctor's appointments for the first four years of her life. Her insurance got messed up because of something with the insurance company. And I'm sure you've had your times of being on the phone on hold for hours at a time. I would never get calls back. I would sit there repeatedly. Well, I felt that I would get told that I would do nothing about it. And then okay. they would fight with me. It's not only him, it's his girlfriend, too. All right. I've had to almost get a stalking order placed on his girlfriend because she's tried attacking me multiple times. It's just gotten to a point where we obviously have to come through you. And all I want out of this, I want. 50 50 and i just want to be able to see my kid you want to share want custody. To, yes i want to be able to know about my daughter's schooling stuff and not have to literally drive to the school to try to go pick her up to get told that hey. bronson already picked her up and i'm not even allowed to even just see how she's doing in school because he does all these things without Consulting with me first, her parent. All right, Bronson. And I've just been left to Here, deal just with a minute, it. Taylor. I'm, I'm to deal Bronson with it. To me. deal with it. She called last year. She called Skelly School three times, asking the principal and the desk clerks if that she could come pick up Scarlett without telling me. So the principal and the desk clerks it immediately called year. me, telling me what was going on. So, yes, I did go pick Scarlett up from the school. All right. Because I don't want Taylor taking her from with me without my, not my, without my acknowledgement. Like, that's messed up. That's cool. Yeah. All right. The court's going to make some interim rulings here, starting with the fact that the issue of paternity is not contested in this case. The court finds that Brans uh, Bronson C. Rogers is the father of the child in controversy in this case, Scarlett Rogers. Uh, age five. Um, the court also makes a finding that uh, essentially Bronson has the de facto custody of the child. Ultimate custody rulings in this case will be made later. Uh, the court uh, finds that the mother in this case is entitled to parenting time with this child, and the court's going to make some interim orders in that regard. Uh, Taylor, I'm going to expect that you're going to arrange whatever transportation is necessary to accommodate these orders. You've been away from your daughter mm -hmm. for a considerable period of time. I'm going to start off with a reacclimation visit, a, a relatively short one. And we're going to do that at the McDonald's restaurant in El Dorado at noon on Saturday. Okay. Uh, uh, Bronson's got to have her there. Bronson, you can stay, but you you get away and you sit in some other booth somewhere. And I just want uh, mother and daughter to uh, a visit during that time for an hour. Uh, Taylor, I'm going to expect that you buy her lunch, patronize the restaurant mm -hmm. while you're there. You know, they're not a visitation center. They're a restaurant. So, But it's yeah. a place where kids feel comfortable generally. And I'm pretty sure that you can find something on the menu that she will eat. Okay. okay. I think you need to be responsible to buy her lunch and then visit with her for an hour, one hour, noon to one. And then at one o'clock, the visit's over. Uh, Bronson needs, doesn't need to be involved in it. Like I say, he can stay in the restaurant. He can eat. He can keep a watchful eye, but I don't want him eavesdropping and I don't, I don't want him interfering with the time between mother and child. You two just need to catch up with each other for an hour. I would love that. Well, it's going to happen. I have 
Yeah, I'm not against that at all. Well, I, I'm glad you're not against it because the court's uh, going to order it. Furthermore, after that, I think it's time for the mother to have this child on her own. But I am not comfortable at all with any type of overnight visitation at this point. If you have a residence that doesn't even have running water, that's not a place that's appropriate for overnight visits with the child. So uh, following that, the following Saturday, um, and I think that for a while, we're going to just keep doing things each Saturday from noon to six. You can take the child. Um, because I don't think that the distance is really that prohibitive, I'm going to have Bronson deliver the child to you and pick the child up. Is it just him? Because what do you mean just him? He has a girlfriend that I do not get along with. I, I, I'm not going to restrict him backyard. if he has in his car with him. Uh, she should stay out of it completely. Uh, an exchange should be very short and very to the point. I don't know why she needs to be involved in it at all. If there's communication Jeez. to take place regarding clothing or activities or whatever, you two discuss it. You're the parents. And I don't want I third parties interfering with it. One thing. Furthermore, what, just a moment. I'm not done yet. Taylor, yeah. this uh, boyfriend guy that's in the house, he is never to be alone with that child. He doesn't not, even live seconds. here. He doesn't live here. Okay, fine. But if he's over, he can't be left alone with that child under any circumstances. I'm actually not even currently together with him. Fine, then it won't it be an issue. Okay. I don't. I don't necessarily want those two to have any contact at all. Okay. From all right, my Bronson. understanding, there is a no contact order between those two. Oh, okay. Well, follow the no contact order, then that will address the court's concerns. Um. Remember, though, you've only got six hours of time, Taylor, so you need to focus on her and her exclusively. Uh, I, I don't mind outside activities. If you guys want to do outside activities, a park or a movie or whatever it is that you want to do, but I, I'm going to enforce this time strictly 12 to 6 on Saturday. Uh, you kind of need to build your relationship back with her. Okay? So we're going to do the reacclimation visit at McDonald's. That's a one-time deal for an hour this Saturday, and then in subsequent Saturdays from 12 to 6 until further order of the court. Uh, we will set another hearing where I'll review this matter and see where we're at. Uh, you need to get your house straightened up, Taylor, if you want to have I've, expanded I've already rights with been your daughter. In the process of that. I've uh, already been in this process over six months. It would be helpful. It's if not my house. Written, it's my dad's house. Just a moment. Let me talk. If if you can, if you've got caseworkers from DECA that are coming in, if you can get them to write a letter regarding the suitability of your home, that you're ready, that that home can accommodate, properly accommodate overnight visits, the court will consider expanding. But uh, I want some okay. third party to, uh, that I, whose opinion I respect, uh, give an assessment of the, of the home situation, given Bronson's concerns, which at least on their face, look legitimate. So the DECA workers are very experienced at this kind of thing, and they'll check out the house. And if they say it's ready for overnights with the child, then the court will consider that if things go well otherwise. You two need to make sure that she's not caught in the middle of anything and try to make her as comfortable with uh, these visits as possible. No disparaging of the other parent. Remember that this child perceives herself as being half her dad and half her mom. So if you're putting down a parent, you're putting her down too. It's part of her identity. So it can't happen. If you have disputes, leave her out of them. Okay. Uh, Taylor, I want to get you back involved with your daughter. With what the court has set forth. Now, if, if Bronson, in his discretion as a parent, wants to expand from that for any reason, fine. But I want him to be in agreement with anything that the court hasn't specifically ordered. Okay? It's up to him at this point. I'm going to give him some authority to say no. 
but uh, every Saturday, 12 to 6, after this reacclimation visit this weekend. All right, Taylor. Um, you got something else my to daughter does the stretch. About? And never mind, we're doing this stuff on the weekend, so it's not going to matter. I say that Scarlett does start school on the 15th. <laughs> right. That's why I'm sticking to Saturday. I don't want any interference with school. And I want to make that point, Bronson. I'm okay. going to authorize you to enroll her in the Circle School District, which you, I think you already have. Yeah. I don't want to have any, you know, educational dispute here. Is her connected with her primary residence? Mm -hmm. um, I trust you actually live in the Circle School District, or you're opting to put her in the Circle School District. We're opting to put her in the Circle School District. Okay. We're well, at I guess a you can do residence. that now. So. Okay, if that's the best school for her, uh, in your judgment, uh, I'll authorize that to be her school uh, uh, choice for this year. All right. Um, Taylor will have access to her and take her from the school without the dad's permission. Okay. And I don't know what scenario where you would have to go get her at school, but... Taylor, but I I tried I'm to go get her from school because that was the only other option I had to try to see her. Well, I understand. I that. didn't want to do any of all this drama. And the thing is, is I've tried to be civil until I got until it wasn't civil. Since my baby's funeral. So that was the last time I saw her, spoke to her, heard her voice. Okay. Well, we're going to try to correct that. Okay. I want you to see her every week until you can kind of rebuild your relationship for a while. I want her to be comfortable with you. She All was right? comfortable with me. Well, was the okay. issue. We, we didn't we have are. issues like this. And I just want to know that the only thing, the absolute only thing that is wrong with my house is the water situation. I have already place. contacted a plumber. They tried to quote me $5,300. So I'm waiting to get a new estimate is what the right. current situation is on that. That is the okay. only thing that is wrong with my house. All right. Well, let's make the McDonald's visit this uh, Saturday go well. Um, like I say, uh, buy her lunch. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna cry like a baby, like I am now. <laughs> That's fine. Just try to make uh, the child as comfortable as possible under the circumstances. Really? That's that's in her best interest that it goes smooth. Okay. All right. I will. Um Bronson, I appreciate uh, you being um the person that's gonna provide the transportation. I think um you don't have to rely on her to bring her back on time. You'll just be there at her house, which I'm sure you know where it's at, right? Yeah. Okay, to to do the drop off and pickups. Okay? okay, all right. Is that for every weekend or? Yes, for now. Yes, I want it to be regular and consistent, and not okay. interfering with school. I just I want to change get to a future, point but... to where me and him can actually be co parents again. Is we used to be fine. I never hated you. I've never once kept her from you. I have always done what I could to try to make things work between us. And I hope I that you still that have Taylor. some just, okay, in your guys. heart, too. Okay. No more exchanges between the two of you, okay? okay? Did he unblock Taylor, me so Taylor. that we could talk aside from Taylor, this? stop. Part of being a good... 
six months. I can't talk to him. I was just seeing if he would unblock me so we can talk outside of a, a, a court call. I'm going to have to unblock you in order to do, set up these weekend things, Taylor. That's what I was just wondering, because I've been texting you for months, okay, but well, you don't get got... them because I'm blocked. The reason we do I have a time structure been... established, okay? okay? We do have a time structure. Um, Saturday, both sides should be able to plan. It's 12 to 6. Your Honor. We did for this one. Well, I'm going to set the court date right now. Okay. And we're going to use the same Zoom numbers as we we use today. Okay. Make it less complicated. Okay. I'm going to look at this case again in September. And I'm going to expect that everything's going smoothly for the child on these mother visits between now and then. Uh, September the 17th at 11 o'clock. Eleven AM on September seventeen, folks. Does that work? Yes, that works. Yes, for me. sir. Okay. Eleven o'clock AM. Again, by Zoom, using the same Zoom numbers as today. Uh, I hope everything goes well for the child and both of you uh, between now and then. And you do need to establish lines of communication again that are peaceful and non-harassing and as hopefully as productive his, 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 and may I just state the only argue. reason I have had her blocked is because just say it's one or the other it's both of us you've yelled I've yelled okay I've your communications should be about the child only and they need to be peaceful and non-harassing. If you keep that in mind, you just conduct bi necessary business involving your daughter, exchanging information regarding her, and that's all you need to do. That's what uh, people that have joint legal custody do. They communicate with each other, keep each other in. To their child or children. That's that's what we're working toward. So. Good luck in that regard. We'll, we'll do this again by Zoom, September 17th at 11 o'clock. And uh, again, the next thing to happen, noon, El Dorado McDonald's, Ronson will have the daughter there for a one-hour visit with mom. Okay? Yes. All right. There's nothing further at this time. The Rogers and Kingsley matter will currently be in recess, and this meeting may be ended for all. This is in the District Court of Butler County, Kansas, case entitled Bronson Rogers and Taylor Kingsley. It's case number 2024-DM-162. Uh, Bronson Rogers appears by Zoom. Taylor Kingsley appears by uh, her own Zoom, both representing themselves. Uh, this matter comes before the court at this time for a review hearing following a previous hearing conducted on August the 6th of 2024, at that time, the court made certain interim orders, including establishing essentially a parenting schedule for the mother and to make a decision regarding school enrollment. Uh, a review hearing was set for today. Uh, Mr. Rogers, I want to address this issue first. Uh, I just note that uh, your request for a transcript was filed in the case. Uh, back on the 16th of August, I just want to address one concern I think you had that you thought would be resolved by a transcript. I'm needing this record to ensure the safety of my daughter. I do not believe it's in the best interest for my daughter to be in any care or presence of Aaron Wilson, convicted sex offender. Taylor, mother of Scarlett, insists the judge allowed this despite my remembering otherwise. And I trust that Aaron Wilson would be the boyfriend that was discussed at the last hearing, Ms. Kingsley? No, yeah, Aaron Wilson. He wasn't talking to you. He was talking to me. All right, Ms. Kingsley, you don't need to be rude. Just... It's my stepfather. And just okay. to know, I have not let her see him. 
Um, I was on the phone with my mother, my and he they said, had a Hello. video call. Okay, just one at a time. I, uh, Ms. Kingsley, you have the floor. Thank you. I was on the phone with my mother, and he happened to just walk by and say hi. And that was it. And he wasn't even saying hi to her. It was to me. Other than that, there is I have abided by every single court order. Okay. All right. I don't have any docket notes regarding anything concerning a stepfather in this case, Mr. Rogers. On the other hand, you're entitled to order a transcript and pay for it if you want to. That's certainly your prerogative. And if you feel like that would shed some light on an issue in the future, you're certainly entitled to do that. All right. Uh, Ms. Kingsley, uh, I'll ask you first. Uh, the court did establish some visitation for you under a structured schedule at the last hearing in August. How's everything going? Uh, for the most part, it's actually been going pretty decent. Other than I have asked Bronson civilly to please quit bringing his girlfriend around because we have issues with each other. I can't, I, it's gotten to the point, sir, that I have to have my dad take her in and outside to pick up and drop off because I, I just can't stand to be around them anymore because I'm literally getting screamed at in my driveway. <clears throat> Mr. Rogers, uh, address that, please. Um, the last three times I have not brought Eden with me to go pick up Scarlett because after I drop Scarlett off, I go to Augusta to play D&D with friends until it's time for me to go pick up Scarlett. So Eden hasn't even been around the last three times. The only person that's been with me is the only person that's been with me is my friend Ricky's. That way I have a witness with me of what goes on over there at that over there at that house. But there was some confrontation between these two ladies previous to that. Uh Yes, uh, because Taylor cannot it hold a civil me. conversation. She always explodes and goes immediately into cussing and attacking either me or Eden. She... I'm also going to note Just a minute. That Just a minute. He's... Had... No, no, don't interrupt. You didn't want him to interrupt you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mr. Ron... Mr. Rogers has the floor. Yes, Go ahead. Sir. Um, I don't know if you were able to look at the stuff that I submitted last time, but there were a lot of text messages between me and Taylor throughout the years that were examples of how she just how her actions are towards me all the time. It's always aggressive, combative, argumentative. OK, Mr. Rogers, let's focus on those last three exchanges. The your girlfriend wasn't there, so that should have kind of settle things down a little bit on these exchanges, but you're saying that there's still confrontation initiated by her towards you on these exchanges or is the last no, three been? Not, not since the time that I brought over a cup for Scarlett to use. And I tried to ask Taylor if I could get the cup back. And she said, no, you can get it next time. Only for the fact that I didn't know where it was. That was the only reason I said no. I really can't believe that you two would even consider having an argument over a cup with the higher stakes involving rights and responsibilities concerning your daughter. All right. Uh, if I were to ask you at this time, Mr. Rogers, what, if any, orders are you seeking from this court today? Um, well, I did submit something yesterday. I don't know if you got it or not. And uh, it was an updated parenting plan compared to the one that I submitted from the first court date. Uh, that I got, I, I went and seek counsel. I had a consultation with counsel and they helped me build this. So uh, after beginning in the resignation process i believe that this is the best way to establish a parenting time that supports scarlet's relationship with her mother and scarlet's social physical and emotional well-being i have set the, i have sent this to taylor to review before our hearing um 
I continue to request that Scarlett does not or has zero contact with Aaron Wilson, the stepdad of Taylor, who is a mon who is a registered sex offender. Um, I what was his crime of conviction? Huh? So Rogers, what was his crime of conviction? The um, crime is from over 10 years ago. Well, okay. Right. I didn't ask when it happened. I'm asking what the crime of conviction was. Mr. Rogers, do you know? Yeah, it was fondling of a minor uh, ages 14 through 16. All right. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and continue, Mr. Rogers. Um, I was going to ask if we can have an exchange location because Taylor has been able to take Scarlett to McDonald's every time that I have uh, dropped her off for the times that she has seen her. So I was going to ask for an exchange location instead of her me dropping her off at her house, which was going to be the El Dorado Sunny Stop East for Taylor to pick her up, and then the Leon Groceries US 400 for me to pick her up whenever I have to go pick her up. Okay. And then the phase one for the uh, parenting plan would have been every Saturday from 11 to seven, Taylor is provided to or is to provide adequate nutrition for Scarlett lunch and dinner during her eight hour visit. Uh, I not sharing ramen noodles with her sister, Ruby. Uh, pickup time would be 11 a.m. Taylor picks up Scarlett uh, and arranges transport for herself and Scarlett to get picked up at the sunny stop. And then I pick her up at 7 p.m. where I arrive, provide transport for me and Scarlett to pick her up at Leon Grocery. All right. Uh, Ms. Kingsley, your reaction to his proposed parenting plan? Um, I agree with it for the most part, but there's a few points in it that I'm not really okay with. Because um, he thinks that my kids share meals with each other, and they don't. I have plenty of food for both of my kids. And what that whole thing was about, Scarlett did happen to share a couple of her ramen noodles with her baby sister. And so I just don't know why that's even a, a thing. Um, I have gotten my water fixed since, since our last court date. I have had DCF and DECA do walkthroughs of my house. And in part of the parenting plan, it says that it is required of me to get a license to be able to have Scarlett stay the night here. I'm selling my car. My car doesn't even work and I have transportation. Like I don't mind having to change our exchange locations. That's fine. But I don't feel like it should be a requirement of me to go get a driver's license when I'm not even driving at all. It also says or an arranged emergency plan for if Scarlett needs emergency And I already have care. that figured out. I have emergency transportation if she were to ever need it. Which which is what, Ms. Kingsley? My my mother or my brother-in-law that lives here. Okay. How far away does your mother live? Literally like less than five minutes down the road. Uh, I even have friends. Does she here work a town. job like, away from home? Ways. Ms. Ms. Kingsley, does she work a job away from home? No, my mom stays at home. I see. All right. Um, the only thing I honestly would like to ask is just to, I don't feel like I should have to keep jumping through all these hoops, even though I have done, I literally every day I am doing stuff to improve either my, my mental, my self care, my house. I am always taking care of my children. That's literally what I do. I am a stay-at-home mom right now. I do activities with my daughter every time she's here, and she's getting upset that she can't even stay the night here and spend more time with us other than just six hours once a week. All right, he's proposing it uh, expand to eight hours. Yes, I'm proposing I can, to expand can, to eight I hours. I don't feel like it's fair to me i've already spent the last six months without even being able to see her and already messing with our relationship with each other so i just feel like it's it's a little tedious
Like when she's wrong. literally getting upset with me because she can't stay the night here. When there's no reason that she shouldn't be able to already. Considering I've done more than enough to prove that she can be here. Your Honor, Scarlett has said that her room has not been planned and she can't sleep in it yet. Her room has Taylor my laundry. Okay, okay let, her, let her let her respond to up. that. Okay. My in her room had my laundry in it. It was I, I have I'm I'm a girl. I got a lot of clothes. And I just literally two days ago went and cleaned all that up. That was the and like yeah, she couldn't play in her room, but her room would have been set up before she would have been able to sleep here. And we had to move stuff in her room to fix the water because the water heater is located in her room and we had to pull her bed away from the wall. So I just haven't had the opportunity to move the bed back yet and set everything back up because that bed is solid wood and I just can't move it myself. And it took two years to get all the water fixed. Because our pipes busted. They froze over over the winter and every single pipe underneath of our house busted, but it is fixed. I had my pipes burst in December and I had it fixed the day of within three hours. Good for you, Bronson. Not everybody's you. Okay, let's not argue over plumbing. Yeah. Well, that's what that's what that this is this is my point, sir. This is like it doesn't matter what I say to him, he always has something to fight with me about. And then as to like the pickup and drop off, yes, there are some text messages where they got me to react in a way I didn't feel was appropriate for me. Yes, they still have the text messages, and I still have the text messages. I actually went and called my caseworker right after that, and that's why I had my dad start exchanging Scarlet back and forth between him so that I could avoid the drama. And he, I am kind of think it's a little funny how he didn't even deny that his girlfriend has been screaming at me because from the first meeting that we had at McDonald's, because she's sitting there asking me multiple times if my toilet can flush. And I said, yes, it can flush. Then she thinks it's okay to call me the B word halfway across a busy McDonald's. And those are the interactions that I keep having with them. And he didn't tell her to stop. He didn't tell her to not talk to me. He just literally let her do it. And all, no, all while them, my child is present through all of this. You asked me if I would leave the McDonald's. And I said that Judge Ricky said that I can sit in a different booth, take Scarlett. No, but you let your girlfriend sit time. there and yell at me. You let your girlfriend sit there and call me a bitch in the middle and of the McDonald's. And you were yelling back and forth, Taylor. You both are I was fault. not yelling at her. I was upset because that was the first time I saw my kid in over six months. Right. Uh, Mr. Rogers, this, this child does not belong to your girlfriend. Yes, I know that. Therefore, I don't understand why she needs to be part of the equation at all, especially during exchanges. Or anything okay. regarding interaction with with the child's natural mother. It's the child's natural mother is the one that has rights here, not her. And I would just and all assume, I've done is try to defend okay, myself just against her. She just needs to avoid contact with Miss Kingsley entirely to avoid conflict. I don't want this child to see conflict in in your relationship with one another. And if there are significant others friends, family members, whoever that are interfering with you two having some sort of reasonable parental exchange, they need to be left out of the picture entirely. It's not good okay. for the, for this child. On the other hand, what Mr. Rogers is submitting to the court in writing, Ms. Kingsley, is a proposed parenting plan that you, you said earlier you really don't have a whole lot of problem with. Uh, I don't quite understand the whole ramen noodles concern. It seems I blown out of proportion. Every time Scarlett food. has came home, but, she says that she shares her meal. They literally right. have their own meals. I can go show you my fridge right now. And, and I really think they should, Miss Kingsley. Okay. Like I, so, my kids have their own meals. I like. I don't even know why we're then all. Let's keep it. Let's keep it like that. Then. Okay. 
If you're already addressing it, continue to address it. The only other thing I wanted to address is if my daughter can be around my significant other, considering he is off probations and corrections and our no contact order has been lifted. And what was two months ago? And what uh, was his uh, crime of conviction that he was on probation for? He got Brandon arrested. Because... Just, just tell me. Can just you... tell... Hang on, Mr. Roger. <laughs> Scarlett wasn't even home when this yeah, happened. Was. Okay, I, I, I'm no, not asking wasn't. about because I, remember I just want to know what his crime of like... conviction was. Just tell me what he was convicted of. I'm trying to if he would stop talking. Just tell me the crime. What, what is Scarlett it? Scarlett wasn't home. Okay. But I, Brent put his hands on me while I was pregnant. All right. He so got he got arrested convicted for two and a half months, and then we had a no contact order. But since then, he has gone through therapy. He has done went to POs every week. He has done the work that he is needed to do, and he already knows. That if he puts his hands on me again, he will get arrested and go to prison. What is we his name? We have not had any issues with each other. Brent Haynes. He has never harmed my children. He has never done anything to my children. And he's been he in Scarlet's life since face. he was two. Right. Look, th this court recognizes that people move on in relationships and establish new ones. Just as Mr. Rogers has... His girlfriend, you apparently have this significant other. True, Ms. Kingsley? It's the, it's the same person that I've been with for the past three years. All right. My point being that you have a right to establish a new relationship. As long as he is not, uh, he doesn't do anything that would be adverse to the interest of your child, the court is not going to put some restriction on your ability to maintain that relationship. However, I will order that you not leave this child alone with him. I, I think won't. the father's concern. Well, okay, as long I'm, I'm going to place a specific restriction on this child being left alone with this boyfriend. He may be a good guy, okay, but I think I the father's see. concern is legitimate. It's your parenting time. I want you to spend the time with her and always be present. Uh, his crime of conviction, while troubling. He apparently successfully completed probation. Uh, you need to make sure you protect your child at all times. It's your responsibility, Ms. Kingsley, in the same way it's Mr. Rogers' responsibility to make sure his girlfriend doesn't act adverse to this child's interests. But you okay. do just need to manage that within your own home. Okay. So there is no restriction at this point other than not being left alone with him between you and this Brent Haynes at this time. And I don't want him interfering any more than I want Mr. Rogers' girlfriend interfering with exchanges or communication between the parents. And even before all of this, that has never happened. My boyfriend has never gotten in the way of mine and his parenting because he respected me enough to not do that. All right. It's a situation that you have to manage from your end, Ms. Kingsley. And there's just nothing that can go wrong with that. Okay. I just yes, wanted sir. to be known that in the in the report that it just stated that the children were at the house. And I also wanted to be known that Brent has gotten up in Scarlett's face and screamed at her. And no, Scarlett he does not want to see Brent. She tells me that she doesn't want to see him. This morning she told me that she freaked out and says, I do not want to see him. She is scared. It's because you're making her scared, because you're manipulating her. I'm not manipulating her, Taylor. I but you're manipulating her. her to where she feels awkward to even come over here or even say anything to anybody. I also want to bring up the fact that Scarlett's told me that she was scared to tell me because her mom told her to keep things a secret. The fact that she talked to Aaron no, and Jen no. on the phone and the fact that she talked yeah. to Brent on the phone, too. No, she did not. She did not. She and the only thing that up. I have Taylor, are you at my house when she's talking she to me? Well, no, guys. you're not. We're not going to turn this into an arguing session. You can do that on your own. He doesn't talk to me regardless. He doesn't even communicate with me at all. Even when it comes to Scarlett, he does not communicate with me and says, me and says, I don't says, have to I want to tell you so bad, but I'm scared because mom told me not to. That is bad. That is all not right. okay. Only that is all right. Hey, both of you stop. At this time, the court makes an order adopting 
phase one of Mr. Rogers' parenting plan effective immediately. Okay. It does not address uh, any restrictions on the boyfriend, so I, I need not change that. It's on. It's 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 on the next page down on the return to phase one. The There's no domestic violence between Taylor. And it says reports of any no domestic violence between Taylor and Kingsley or Taylor Kingsley and Brent Hayes. Haynes. Well, how in the world would we implement that? I mean, report. What do you mean report? Of any domestic See, violence between Taylor Kingsley and Brent Haynes, police reports. How, how would you she, monitor that? Uh, recording Scarlett mm. telling me if incidents happens over there. Well, no. I want to note to the court that either Bronson, his girlfriend, or somebody else that really doesn't matter in this equation have called false reports on me to the cops and DCS multiple times now. Right. And if I were getting abused, I, I'm not I okay. First of all, myself. all right, Miss Kingsley, why don't you just be quiet for a second? Okay. <laughs> um, the court is not going to adopt any of the return to phase one if section. Uh, quite frankly, those may constitute material changes in circumstance, but to have some sort of blanket rule that could be arbitrarily uh, applied, um, I'm just not inclined. Okay. Uh, to uh, include this gotcha provision. Uh, however, the rest of the parenting plan. Um, let me look through, see if there's anything else. The only thing I want to note is if I have to have a driver's license, considering I don't even drive. Is, isn't his requirement that you make an effort to obtain a driver's license? Is there an issue about you pursuing one? I can't go get one right now because my ID's expired and I have to order a new birth certificate. I am actually already in that process, sir, to do that. And it's just not fast enough for him and he's not liking it. So he's trying to control me and I just I don't like that. My mother took her twice. Over four yeah. years ago. All right, Miss Kingsley, you can't drive a motor vehicle on the highways of this state without a valid driver's license. And I don't, I don't drive at all. I literally don't drive. That's the restriction I'm placing on you. Like but I, I see nothing a, like, wrong. I'm not going to drive if I don't have a driver's license and not even have a car to use. Right. I see nothing wrong with a suggestion here that you must make an effort to obtain a driver's license because you say Even you're already I've doing already it. Been so. making that effort. All right. Then I don't I don't think that's any burden on you now, is it? To continue to do what you're already doing. I just don't feel like it should be an absolute requirement just to have Scarlett stay the night here. For lack of better language, I feel like that's dumb. Especially when I have transportation for her, that is not an issue. And even emergency transportation, if that were the case, why do I need to have a driver's license? I think it's desirable for any parent with any type of custodial rights of any kind or significant parenting time to be able to drive the child. Well, I can't uh, tell for you any how number of reasons, Ms. Kingsley. You. Take me. I must. I don't think that the requirement's absolute, but is it desirable? Of course, it is. I mean, it's desirable just in my own personal life to have it. It's just it's not the top thing on my priority list. Well, if, if there's a, a question that arises regarding implementation of phase two, we'll address it then. So how long All is right. this phase one? Like, how long do we have to do this before it goes to phase two? Doesn't Six it weeks. state in here, Ms. Kingsley? I, I can't go look at it because it's on my phone at the moment. So I don't Six know visits. Okay. Which I hope are 100% successful for everybody involved. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are changing the meeting locations now? Yes. On the and, front end is El Dorado Sunny Stop East. Uh, the return location is Leon Grocery on US 400. And can we also agree that I just, I, it's not even about just ignoring her. Like, even if I don't do anything, this girl, 
just wants to have a problem with me you and scream at me or say something to me. And I would just like her to not be around at all. Like, I just think that that's better for everybody. Especially yes, my stress levels. I'm going to expect each parent to regulate the, the people that they expose this child to and govern that appropriately. I've asked you to do that, Ms. Kingsley. I expect the same thing out of Mr. Rogers. They're to be part of a solution, not be part of a problem. It's just I've had witnesses to literally getting screamed at for absolutely no reason. Go same. get a job. Go do I this. Have, Go do that. I have witnesses for the same exact reason. I have witnesses of you attacking me, Taylor. Like, it's okay. I haven't it's attacked you up. since we were together. All right, guys. Okay. I'll authorize each of you to record your exchanges if necessary. Thank you. I, I think it is necessary at this point because he just wants to keep lying. <clears throat> All right. Making me seem like I'm just some horrible person and I'm not. Okay. I don't attack him. I don't do anything to him. I haven't even went outside to see him in the past three visits. There is. All right. I think that we may be that. at some point in the future changing this order. At this point, the court is going to... Uh, issue or maintain an order granting sole legal custody to the father. This does not interfere with the mother's rights to have time with her child. I just believe that the day-to-day the -day decision making authority should be left with the father at this time. This yeah. is a temporary order. I really agree I with tend you, to make but... it permanent. But I believe that that, uh, I think your communication, you two are so poor between the two of you. You two working together as joint legal custodians is not particularly uh, it likely. It was fine. It was completely fine until he got a girlfriend. No, we it used wasn't. to go to the zoo together with the our court with is, my, court my, court and my brother, and we had to my old in together. Here. We have always had okay. good communication, uh, and I right. feel like Mr. I'm Mr. Rogers. Screwed over. Mr. Rogers, though I don't want to talk over Miss Kingsley. Um, I'm just tired of you still have like the I'm race street railroaded. address. Yes, race street. Yes, it's Kingsley. Um, just verifying South Main Leon. Yes, okay, very well. Uh, court will issue uh, an order, uh, stemming from today's proceedings, and that will be sent out to both of you. Okay. I hope you guys can continue efforts to try to improve your communication and working together. <laughs> for this child's best interest. She deserves that. Yes, Your I Honor. Just deserve I agree. To not be stressed out over stuff that I can't control. The court at this time about... will conclude the hearing. Um, the meeting may be ended for all. The court is in recess. Thank you, Ricky. Your Honor.